Playing an acoustic guitar is a unique and immediate experience. You create a sound, your sound, with nothing but your fingers. But when you record your guitar, you want the world to hear it in all its beauty and complexity, because that sound is you. Welcome back to the Neumann Home Studio Academy. In this tutorial series, we've been looking at how to get a great acoustic guitar sound with only one microphone. In the previous episode, we've been looking at different positions you could move your microphone into. In this episode, we would like to compare different microphones. So far, we've only used the TLM 102, which is Neumann's most affordable large diaphragm microphone. And the TLM-102 sounds good, but now let's try to compare it to this microphone right here. This is a Neumann TLM-103. The first thing you'll notice is that this microphone looks more impressive. It's also heavier, and it's got a classic Neumann head basket. Its main features are a very direct, present sound, a deep and punchy low end, extremely low noise and a cardioid pickup pattern. The difference may not be huge, but if you listen closely, you'll hear that the 103 is a bit more aggressive. The bass is a bit stronger too, and that's exactly what you want if you would like to combine your acoustic guitar with electronic beats and synthesizers. You hear that? The TLM-103 is even lower noise than the TLM-102. That makes it really great for delicate finger picking. Also, you can place the mic even further away and still not notice any noise floor. Provided, of course, you have a very quiet room. Both the 102 and the 103 are large diaphragm condenser microphones, which means that that the membrane inside is about one inch in diameter. Typically, these microphones are used for vocals and for solo instruments. Now let's see how they compare to the Neumann KM184. This is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, which is to say the membrane is just over half an inch in diameter. Right, and small diaphragm condenser microphones are about as close you can get to the natural sound of your instrument. It's not bad, is it? The upper frequencies are, are nice and open, and the bass response is solid too, although it's not as full and as lush, but that's because this is what the guitar sounds like. Large diaphragm condensers, by contrast, have a tendency to add a little extra flavor. They make things appear bigger and more impressive than they really are. Is that a good thing? Up to you to decide. Now, for something completely different, this is a dynamic stage microphone. And you might already own a dynamic focal microphone like this one. So, let's see what it does on an acoustic guitar and then compare it with the rest of them. Obviously, this sounds different than any of the condensers we've tried. It's much more mid range The top end sounds less open and the bass is a bit thin. If you listen closely, you'll also find that the noise floor is a bit higher. 
for some songs, this less detailed, slightly lo-fi sound may be quite interesting. But, of course, it's not what the guitar really sounds like. Okay, let's finish off with, uh, with another stage microphone, but this is a condenser stage microphone. This is a Neumann KMS 104. And basically, this is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, just like, like this one over here. But this model is optimized for handheld use. This is a vocal stage microphone. Sounds, sounds good, right? Similar to this one, although the bass appears a bit thinner. And that is because this model is actually designed for closer distances. But it's definitely a more natural and a more detailed sound than we got from the dynamic microphone. So if you're looking for a top-notch handheld vocal mic that doubles as an instrument mic in your home studio, the KMS 104 may be just what you're looking for. Okay, so uh, shall we wrap up? Maybe we'll have a, a brief listen to all the microphones that we talked about. We started off with a Neumann TLM 102. After that, we moved on to this microphone right here. This is a TLM 103. Third microphone we used was a Neumann KM 184. Okay, in this episode we talked about four condenser microphones, but just to compare, we also had one dynamic stage microphone. It's this black one. And to finish off with, we had one last stage microphone, but it's a condenser stage microphone. This is the Neumann KMS 104. Okay, so much for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck recording, and we'll see you soon at the Neumann Home Studio Academy.